If you're looking for the best camcorders, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have GoPro Her All 3 Plus Black Edition Camcorder. While the silver and white editions are cheaper and similar in function, GoPro's Hero 3 Plus Black Edition is the best action video camcorder on the market with better hardware and enhanced accessories. Black Edition offers a ton of resolution options, and you can record 4K of the 15 FPS on. Really useful for action photography, but you can shoot 30 FPS at 2.7K. Plenty of information for adjustments in post-production, or you can use software to further stabilize the image. At 1000 A-Type, you can record up to 6 dift, and if you drop down to 720 type, you can shoot up to 120 FPS, enabling you to produce slow motion HD video. The Hero 3 Plus can be controlled wirelessly from a remote control or their smartphone app, and the wide array of accessories and mounting made by GoPro and third parties provide customization options for any situation. While the Hero excels in many areas, it still has its issues, GoPro sound quality has never been stellar, and the battery life isn't great but ultimately this camera is your best bet for action recording. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Canon Vixie HF G20 HD camcorder. The G20 can shoot up to 12 hours of HD video with 32 GB of built-in memory and optical image stabilization which helps keep hand-held shots steady as you take advantage of the tank zoom. The OIS is better than most standard camcorders thanks to larger pixels which help the camera do well in low light and result in a huge improvement in dynamic range over their previous camcorders. A 3.5 touchscreen displays the images you create with proper color reproduction and allows the operator to tell the camera to track an object to keep it in focus. It's a big leap forward from the days of when autofocusing would shift crazily from object to object. Cinema look filters and 24 enable you to shoot home movies with a more cinematic look. With manual modes, a user learns how to shoot better videos as they try their hand at taking more control of the camera. Skin tones and colors have always been where Canon optics excel, and the G20 is no exception. The camera does have some problems such as strobing lines, but they aren't much worse than most consumer-level cameras. This camera is worth being at the top end of this price range since it has all the options to help home user create some excellent home movies. The number 3 position is held by Canon Vixie HF R500 Digital Camcorder. The HF R500 was released along with the R50 and R52. While these cameras share the same sensor, lens, LCD, and processor, the R500 lacks the Wi-Fi and internal storage. The higher-end models have 8 GB and 32 GB of internal storage respectively. Fortunately, even without the added memory, you can simply record to SD slash SDHC dash SDXC memory cards which are very inexpensive. The lens has a 57 x advanced zoom and optical image stabilization, OIS which yields impressive results for a $300 camera. The Intelligent IS automatically turns on correcting minor shakes to keep your video sharp and steady while cinema look filters and 24 shooting gives footage a more film-like look. The face detection which can function on up to 9 people at a time ensures your friends and family will never be out of focus. If you're looking for a cheaper alternative to the more feature-laden Vixie cameras, the HFR 500 is a great camera for you. Next at number 4, we have Sony NEX 9 Tizero. The Sony NEX VG9 Tizero has a 24.3 MP full-frame sensor Fordix larger than similarly sized camcorders. A larger sensor and the ability to attach interchangeable lenses using the camera's E-mount or a mount with the included adapter create a shallow depth of field making images look more cinematic. A built-in quad capsule microphone allows for stereo and 5.1 recording without any other equipment to tote around. An additional XLR adapter. Purchased separately is ideal for anyone hooking up professional shotgun mics directly to the camera. The full manual controls are ideal for the professional shooter needing to adjust shutter speed, gain, and aperture in order to get the best shot. Some of its cooler features are full 1000 ADIP recording at 60fps for great slow motion and its Cinegamma picture profile creates a flatter image for more dynamic range. It's light and portable 
but a little plastic feeling and has aliasing and rolling shutter issues when the camera moves. However, these issues are not as bad as they are on some of the popular DSLRs. The VG9 Tizero is a great camera as a DSLR replacement with the perfect balance between professional images and ease of use. The number 5 position is held by Panasonic Lumix DMC GH4 K Body 16.5 P Digital Single Lens Mirrorless Camera with 4K Cinematic Video. A smaller micro four-thirds MFD sensor and a DSLR look make the GH4 portable and approachable with a design made for anyone to step in and take control. The camera shoots up to 4K video internally which best some of the other major 4K players on the market. The camera has the ability to hook up to an external recorder via a micro HDMI port enabling 10-bit 4, 2, 2 recording, giving a much less compressed image than the internally recorded edge files. The details, especially edges, are sharp with colors, and skin tones are soft creating a very pleasing image. To my eye, it handles highlights well and does fine in low light. Although MFT cameras tend to be worse in low light, and this unit is no exception. For those looking to do slow motion, downscale to 1008 ip and users can record up to 96 fps. The body seems quite durable, and it's labeled as weather sealed, although I haven't actually tested this claim out. Additionally, the Swivel 3 OLED viewfinder makes shooting at odd angles easier. In the end, the camera falls into some of the limitations of similar cameras in this range like rolling shutter, but it is built for the professional user and is one of the best for the money. The number 6 position is dominated by Sony PMW X1 RXD Gamma EX Full HD. The FS700 is the bigger brother of the F700, our best budget professional camcorder. Like the F700, this camera also performs very admirably in low light meaning it can catch things like a candle burning in a dark room or a face in moonlight without a lot of noise until you get to the higher gain levels. One of the major reasons to use this camera especially over the F-100, is if you plan on doing any slow motion recording. Out of the box, the FS-700 can record 240 FPS at 1920 x 1080, full HD in 8 second burst, and up to 960 FPS in 19 second burst if you drop down to lower resolutions. While the sensor itself is 4K, the camera actually can only record up to 1920 x 1080 internally. It is, however, upgradable for an additional $5,400 to enable 16-bit RAW 4K and 2K recording. On top of the added resolution, the external recorder allows for 2K, 12-bit RAW high-speed recording up to 240 FPS for incredible looking. Higher resolution, super slow motion. Overall, the camera is easy to use, even for less experienced users giving you great value for the price along with options to upgrade to a truly professional device. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Sony NEX F700 UK Super 35 camcorder. Sony has traditionally been maligned as the video camera with the most video looking images, but with their recent entries into the digital cinema realm like the F700, they've engineered their cameras to show high levels of detail but still soften elements like skin tones to make them appealing to the eye. This light body camera performs really well in low light, and you can easily add an adapter to take advantage of faster lenses and improve low light photography even more. One of the keys to this camera's success is its Super 35M sensor, which records full 1008 IP HD video using an updated AVG codec, which looks good in post production and can withstand some light grading. If you're looking for 4K quality and slow motion options, you may want to upgrade to the FS700. But for most purposes, the Sony NEX F700 Super 35 camcorder will stand up quite well to the bigger competition. The number 8 position is held by GoPro Hero 8 Black. The GoPro Hero 8 Black is the ultimate action camera with a tough build that can withstand water and knocks. Under that outer shell is a super powerful system that can capture up to 4K footage at 6 diffs. This comes with some of the best image stabilization out there and offers lots of preset modes to suit what you're filming. Granted, there is no front-facing screen, and despite having voice controls, these aren't the most reliable. But with that super strong build that doesn't even require a case for underwater use, this does it all for the price. The supporting app is excellent for easy file transfer, video editing, and sharing of footage. Onboard GPS, triple microphones, and a 1220 mAh battery all add up to a complete video solution in a very portable package that's amazing for the price. This will even let you live stream via the app.
Next at number 9, we have Sony FDRX700. The Sony FDRX700 takes a lot of high-end professional camera specs and crams them into a palm-sized camcorder. That means you get 4K resolution and HDR so that when played back on a top-end TV, this will push it to its limit. And that's easily done thanks to built-in Wi-Fi that makes exporting footage simple. In fact, this is easy to use in general with clear menus, useful physical bugs, and ergonomics that are spot on. This highly portable camera still manages to cram in a 3.5-inch viewfinder, dual SD card slots, and built-in microphone. The Sony FDR-AX700 can record both SDR and HDR using the HLG Hybrid Log Gamma format thanks to its 1-inch XMOR RX. ZMOS sensor smarts backed by Zapk S. That means you get 100 Mbps at 4K, and you can even shoot at 120 nifs when in 1008 i quality. Expect a sharp and crisp image thanks to Sony's Beyond ZX image processing smarts paired with that 14.2 megapixel sensor. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Panasonic HCX2000. The Panasonic HCX2000 is the best camcorder out there right now. As such, it's not cheap, but that's because this is what's called a prosumer model, straddling the lines between professional quality and consumer usability. This does it all from 4K image quality at 60 FPS to 24x optical zoom. You can enjoy relatively easy use with the removable handle which comes with a really useful LED light that's diffused for a professional lighting finish, even in a rush. You also get 5-axis hybrid optical image stabilization, meaning this is a very forgiving camera even for those newer to this level of quality. The 1-2.5 MOS sensor works with a Leica Dicamer lens for optimal quality. When it comes to audio, there is a microphone attachment option in the handle and 2x LR Pro mic inputs. You also get dual SD cards for continuous recording and a 3.5-inch color touchscreen to view and control recordings. Expect impressive details with true-to-life color from this 18.9 megapixel camcorder that comes in at 3.30 models, which isn't bad. When you consider all that this semi-pro video camera offers, not cheap, but this justifies every cent it's worth. That's all for today. We upload auto product review videos every single day. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.